Magic Lemur back again with another Sudoku. This one is by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. It is titled Ceiling Fan for obvious reasons. And well, let's get into the uh, rules. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Every row, column, three by three box is uh, as it is one through nine. Once each German whispers, German whispers. Um, along journal whisper lines, adjacent digits must differ by at least five. So if this was, let's say, a two, this would have to be at least a seven. This would have to go back down to either a one or two, that kind of thing. Prop key pairs, we've got digit with the black dots are in a one to two ratio. So if this was a two, this could be a one or a four. If this is a three, this could be a six, that kind of thing. And the white prop key dots mean they are consecutive. So if this was a one, this would be a two. If this was a five, this could be a six or a four. That's all it is. All right, well, there we go. Let's get into Ceiling Fan by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. All right, where to start? Usually in German whispers, I like to try to find, oh, like here, in the central box. There's only one digit that can never go in a German whisper in normal Sudoku German whisper rules, and that is a five. Because if you put a five on a German whisper, and you have to have be at least five away from it, the only valid options, which are not valid in normal Sudoku, are 0 or 10. So, looking at that, all of these have German whispers, so this must be the 5. Which means this has to be consecutive, so it's either 4 or 6. Now, in German whispers, there's another interesting couple of digits that are very constrained, and those are 4 and 6. Not a surprise that that is the lead-in here. So, 4, <clears throat> the only digit that can go next to a 4 is a 9, because otherwise it's a 9 or it's a negative 1. 5 difference. And then 6, the only number that can go on next to is a 1 or an 11, so it has to be 1. So these two have to be 1 and 9 as their only options. Now that actually comes back here, this 1, 9, which is next to a consecutive crop dot. So if this is a 1, this has to be 2, this is a 9, this has to be <clears throat> now, I haven't gotten any polarity determined just yet. That's usually the, a, a big item to get when you're talking about German whispers. So, is there any way I can figure that out on any of these? Um... I don't see anything offhand. So is there something else that we can tie into here? I'm not seeing it just yet. So what are the possibilities? Consecutive digits. We've got a five that goes with a four or six. We've got a one that could either a one or a nine that goes with either a two or an eight. So the possibility of consecutive digits are one, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, five, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight, nine. I don't think we can determine what these are by those limitations. What about these black crop key dots? Those are the ones that are, I like to kind of work with too, but I don't think they're going to give me much. I mean, because they can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. Black crop key dots can never have 5, 7, or 9 on them, because half of 5 or double of 5 is 2.5 and, and 10. 7, 3.5 and, and 14, 9, 4.5 and, and 18. So they don't have valid Sudoku digits on them. Um, I guess the only little thing I can do, like these can't be six, because we just said if this was a six, these would both have to be one, and they can't be, and this can't be four, because if this was four, these would both have to be nine, which they can't be. So that couldn't be three. This is going to be the same type. I don't think it's going to do any good for us at all. Well, this can't be five or seven, because it's on the German Whisper. So, 
this is an eight, this would have to be a well, this can never be five or seven either, because it's on the cross here. Let's get rid of these because these are annoyingly too many options, and I'll come back to it because it's gonna be the same concept as these. So this could be a one-two pair, could be a two-four, could be a three-six. Or it could be an 8-4. This can never be 8. Does that do anything? I have a feeling these are things that I need to get to a little bit later. Well, let's go a little more obvious. 3. Where does it go? It's got to go in one of those. So this is either a 2-3 or a 3-4. Oh, there we go. That gives us our low and highs. So the other thing on... German Whispers is you have to have, because five can never be on them, when you have a, let's say this is one, two, three, or four, this one now has to be five different, so it has to be six, seven, eight, or nine. This one has to go back down again, so it has to be one, two, three, four. So you get this polarity, so every other one is going to be either high or low. Those would be high, these would be low in this instance. So now that I know this has to be low and this has to be low, this has to be, these all have to be high. And this has to then be an 8, and that has to be the 9. And now that has to go down to the 4, and that has to go up to the 9. These are not 4s, which we could determine there as well, but now these have to be high. They can't be 6s, because this can't be 2, so they have to be 7, 8, 9. This is not 8 or 9, so this is 7. This can't be a 3, because it's not 5 away from 7. So that's 2. That's three. Okay, so now these have to be one and six. And I don't know if the one six one or it's six one something else. This can't be nine because it's not nine. This has to be low. It can't be two or four, so it has to be one or three. It can't be three. There we go. That's one. This now has to be high. Could be six, seven. Or eight. This has to be low. It can't be one, two, or four, so it has to be three. This has to be high, so it's gonna be six, seven, or eight, but it can't be six or seven because it's not that far away, so that's an eight. That's a seven, that's a six. Okay, and now we're moving a little bit here. So where next? There's no ones here, so there has to be well, there's no one or six or, or seven. So this has to be one, six, and seven. <clears throat> These have to be two, four, and five, that obviously can't be five. This has to be eight and nine. These have to be two, four, and five, that can't be five. Okay, so now let's go off these. Because now you know this has to be low, it has to be one, two, or three. This has to be high, six, six could be one, seven, can't be eight, nine. This is low again, so one, two, three. It could be a four. Okay, well, this is a low, so these, that's high and that's high, so that has to be eight, so that has to be four. Means that's not four. So these are low, these all have to be high. Six because this can't be a one. Um, these have to be low one, two, three, and no four can go there. Mm, let's see. C, C, C. No. We don't know polarity here. We know polarity here. Okay, this is high, this is high. Six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be six because it's up to ones. This can't be seven because it's Sudoku. It could or it cannot be a six because that can't be one. Okay, I might get some luck with these crop keys now. I'm gonna go back to what can they actually be? They could be they have to be low. One, two, three. Can't be four because these can't be up to nine. So this is either one or three. Let's do that first. So one, two, three, four. It has to 
that's not one, that's not one, that's not two or three. Okay, so this has to be two or three, which means this has to either be one or six, and it cannot be four. It's one or six, it's only one. It is six, that's three. That's not three. Okay, we get somewhere. This is three, so this can't be seven, so that's an eight right there. There has to be a five and a seven in here. So let me do a little more marking. Five and seven, that can't be five. Anything obvious? No threes, no threes. Not really. What else is this? Oh, this is low, so these will be low. This can't be four or three. This could be, these could be eight, both nines. These have to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be six, because that can't be a one. Well, that six is right there. Let's be a little more obvious about it. So we got a seven, eight, nine triple, which means this has to be a two, four, and five. It cannot be five because it's not a property. This can't be nine because it's not a property or a seven, so that's an eight. That's four. That's nine. That's seven. Not four. Not seven. Um, that right there is a two because of that four. Five. Okay, this is moving pretty easily, I think. These, can I do any of these? I need a one, a four, a seven, and a five. I only need a seven. That's not too helpful. <clears throat> All right, where's the next? I don't know if this one's very helpful. I mean, there are some constraints. It can't be one, two, because this would not have any valid digits. This can't be two, three, because these would both have to be one. It can't be three, four, because there's a four. It can't be four, five, because there's a four. So it has to be somewhere up in five, six, seven, eight, nine territory. Now, this can't be five. This can't be eight. This can't be eight. Um, so this. Uh, no, they can't be nine because there's no eight. <clears throat> so it's either five, six, or six, seven. So it has to have a six on it. Hard to say there. Um, nothing saying which one can't be. Okay, so this is high. This can't be six. That's what's telling me. The obviousness in front of my face. This has to be seven because the six would have to have one on each side. So this has to be a six. Now the seven has to be flanked by one and two because three and four are too tall. Too tall? That's that's the proper terminology. That's five. The six gives me the seven and the nine. These are not the seven. So we're just gonna continue on past the tall comment. <laughs> one, two. Wait, this has to be high. It can't be six or seven, so it's either eight or nine. It's not nine, it's eight. This has to be low, one, two, or three. So we've got a seven here, puts me a nine there. It's not a five. What about these? I need a three, four, five, and a nine. And none of that's helpful. I mean, one of these is a nine. Still not helpful. Um, what are these? There has to be a five in one of these. There has to be a one, two, or three. Is that going to help me? One, two, three, and five. Because this can't be two or three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, and five. That's a tri that's a quintuple. So these have to be six. Well, that can't be nine, obviously. These have to be six, seven, and eight. And this can't be eight, so that is eight. Because these are six and seven. There's a seven there, so that's six and seven. Okay, that's not seven. That's not seven, so this is. That's good, that gives me polarity. Means this has to be I, which is six and one. I could have gotten that there like an hour and a half ago. Don't roast me too badly. That's an eight. If it's a nine and an eight. Um, what's the next obvious answer? This is not a seven. These have to be low. And this one just has to be a one because there's a six there. So that puts a four there. This has to be a two. So the seven has to be by one or two. That's already taken. Okay, so there has to be a one in this row or column. It can't be any of these. So that has to be that one. None of these can be ones. This has to be the five. That's a two, three, which makes that a four. That one gives me a two and a three. Four and a two. Uh, what about these bad boys? We got need a one to go anywhere. We need a five to go anywhere. Six. That goes right there. And then a nine, which is one of these two. Okay, this is a 2-3 pair, which gives me the 1 and the 2. Now this has to be 6, and that has to be the 1. 1 gets rid of the 1 there. That's not a 5 anymore, so, so that's the 5. So this is a 1-2. It's not one or two, so it has to be three, two, one, four, two. That's got to be two and three. So these are six, eight, which means that's six and that's eight. This is the nine. I think we've broken this thing now. So what's left for one? So there's one, one up there. And there's one down here. Not helpful. Twos are done. Threes. Those are not helpful. Fours. Okay, that's got to be the four and the one. That gives me the one, so the four should be done as well. Correct. That's a four. Fives. Um, yeah, there has to be a five down here, so that's a five. Sixes. This is the last six. This has to be the seven. That's the seven. Okay, now we can just do this. This is five. This is three. This is five. These are three and nine. Hey, it's three in the corner. I'm not going to sing like Mark does. This has to be five. And this has to be nine. Okay, and there we go. Solution is correct. Cool. That was a lot of fun. Ceiling fan by full deck and missing a few cards. Um, not overly complicated, but it's a really good um, show of a combination of German Whispers and Kropke pairs. So we have to get into polarities and it starts opening things up. And then the Kropke pairs create the, uh, the distinction between some of these items because it reduces the amount of possibilities there are. So anyway, excellent Sudoku. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.